Hey, what's up YouTube? I'm Zeke and welcome to the Dream Green Show. In this episode, I'm gonna show you guys the top oversold dividend stocks that you guys should be paying attention to this week. I'm gonna show you guys exactly how to find these dividend stocks and we're gonna do a technical analysis over these dividend stocks that are oversold inside the market today. Now, the key is, why are we looking at oversold stocks? Because the number one rule to investing is to buy low and to sell high. While some people like to get in on hype of the stocks because it's going up and they are not value investors, they're just buying off hype. They eventually get bit in the behind because they end up selling low when the market start to pull back so we only look for good quality stocks so i'm gonna show you guys how to screen out all the bad stocks out there stocks that we would never look at in our lifetime we're only going to look for good quality dividend stocks so let's say that we're looking for a three percent dividend yield we're going to measure out thousands tens hundreds of thousands of companies and we're going to measure it out to just three in this video i'm going to show you guys how to do that in this video but before we dive into the video this video is brought to you by we will sign up now by clicking the link down in the description deposit any amount of money and right now you receive five free stocks valued up to $9,300. With those five free stocks, you could keep it inside the platform and decide to use it, or you could sell those five free stocks and withdraw all of your money. Guys, it's literally free money. Um, the other link in the description is to BlockFi. Right now you can receive up to $250 in free Bitcoin and free cryptocurrency by signing up with BlockFi and getting your account started today. And the last link in the description is to Moomoo. Moo. Sign up with Moomoo, Moo, deposit $100. You guys will get five free stocks valued up to $3,500 um, per stock. Once again, those five free stocks, you could keep them in or you could sell those five free stocks and withdraw of your money. Guys, it's free money. Do not miss out on all of those opportunities. If you guys want to jumpstart your portfolio, that is by far the easiest way to do it. But enough talking, let's go ahead and dive straight into this video. Welcome back dreamers. Here we are on Weeble. Um, that's the first link in the description. We're going to click on our watch list and then we're going to hit the search button at the top. I'm going to show you guys how to screen out the top quality stocks that we're going to look at. At the top, you want to hit screeners right there after you hit the search button. And then right there, we're going to go ahead and pull up the parameters that I had already set up for the oversold dividend stocks. So let's click on that. And now I'm going to show you guys how to set that up. So right now we are, it is an alphabetical order, but we're not worried about alphabetical order. We look for good high market cap companies. So we're going to click on market cap and sort it by market cap. There it goes. Now the dividend yield is also on the right. So the uh, TSM is not in our range. So we're going to take a look at CVX which is Chevron Corp. Let's take a look at Bank of America and let's not take a look at that fourth one because I don't want this channel to get uh, demonetized for me even saying that name on YouTube. So let's go ahead and take a look at UPS right there. It has a 3.25% dividend yield. So a quick look at CVX before we do technical analysis, a quick look at CVX. Bam, right there over the last month, they are down. They had a big, huge pullback over the last five days. They are still down 5% over the last five days, but also another huge pullback. So as you guys can see, over the last month and over the last week, they are down. But over the last three months, they are still up 26%. So we are wondering, is this a good buy? Well, we're going to go in and do a technical analysis just so we could take a look at um, a deeper in-depth look at these three companies. Now, let me show you guys how I screen out these stocks. You want to go ahead and after you click on, on screeners, you could click on create new screeners. Now, I already have some right here. I have oversold dividends, oversold 16, oversold 24. I have my high dividend stocks. I have my high dividend yield bank stocks. I have, I have a couple of screeners on here that helps me identify a good value in these companies on when I could buy some of these great companies at a great value. So right now you could click on create new screener. So once you click create new screener, you could look at all the exchanges, the NASDAQ, New York, American Stock Exchange, whatever. So we're going to make it sure it's in the region of the United States. You could sort it by market cap, um, any price that you want. You could have the penny stocks in there if you want to. You can eliminate the penny stocks by making it going all the way up. Anything above $2.9 billion market cap. You can do it by price. Um, let's say you're looking for stocks from um, $5 to $20. 
You could do it by percent change, listing dates. And then also down here, as you guys can see, you could do it by dividend yield, what percentage you want to do it at. You could do it by dividends. You could do it by the PE. You could also look at the technical indicators. You could look at MACD, Golden Cross, KDJ oversold, RSI 16 oversold, the MA5 crossing over the 10. You could look at a whole bunch of different indicators. In fact, I'm going to do a video very soon of the MI5 cross over 10. That is a very good little swing trade indicator that we pair with the RSI oversold to make sure that we are getting in the right direction of the trend of the market so um if you want to see my exact um screener for rsi oversold there it is right there i could i could screenshot a more in-depth um setup of my screeners inside of the patreon oh yeah guys if you want to join the patreon the link is down in the comment section over in the patreon patreon to take it to my discord inside of the discord i post every single time i buy and sell stocks i post my technical analysis my swing trades my option um, trades and also we have pro day traders in there that post all of that option trades in there every single day and you have access to a community of trade hundreds of people you have access to hundreds of people that have the same mindset of investing just like you Dave. if you ask a question in there you they will probably answer it before i get the chance to get to it because they're all in there with the same mindset of trying to um, invest into that future so they can be financially free so if that sounds like a community that you want to join i'm gonna leave the link to the patreon down in the comment section all right so now that we got our top three stocks we're going to take a look at cvx bank of america and UPS. So, so let's go ahead and pull up trading view. All right, YouTube, here we are on CVX. Um, we are on the four hour chart that me, every bar on here represents the last four hours of the trading day. Now, it is oversold, as you guys can see down here on the purple chart. It is oversold. That is my RSI indicator, it's under 40, but it did pull back to it's looking like a small support level and it's not in a range that I think that I'm comfortable buying CVS, although they did have a huge. I mean, an absolutely huge run up over the last year or so. Let's look at the measuring tool from here all the way up to the highest point that had an 89% run up in just less than a year, guys. So that is amazing. But it is due time for it to pull back. An 89% run up means that, hey, you buy low and you sell high at 80% gain and wait for it to pull back. Not just pull back just a little bit, but I think a good buying zone for let's see let's pull out the tools a good buying zone for cvx would be somewhere in this area right here now it's still trending up if you was to draw a arrow at the end of this green ema line then it still shows that it's trending up so i would let it continue to pull all the way back in fact the earnings is coming up on april 29th the earnings will probably say that it's positive or probably say that it's negative either way i do think i do think that it's going to continue to pull back even if they do beat their earnings just because they had a, a such a significant run up over the last couple of weeks that i'm not really comfortable buying at 161 even though it did have a book a big pullback if i was to get into cvx i'll buy one share right here if it pulls back to this zone right here i'll buy two shares and if it pulls all the way back to the zone i'm comfortable buying um cvx at i'll buy five shares there where i'm able to dollar cost my average on the way down of cvx so let's look at the next one bac bank of america now bank of america as you as you guys can see the green ma line has crossed the ma line so it is in a pull back but they just did have a good earnings report so let's see exactly what is a good support level so let's see exactly what's a good support level for bank of america so let's go all the way back here we go all right so let's pull out the rectangle tool again and draw out a good support line right there so so it came down to the zone of 37 dollars once twice three times four times and now it's back in the 37 buy zone again so it is in a very strong support line right now if it pulls back and breaks down below the support line i'm definitely going to be picking up some bank of america um, stocks for their dividends and it's a good company to hold for a long term especially if you already bank with bank of america and you got majority of your money in the savings account you will make more money in dividends than you would uh, of a 0.001 percent 
of interest in their savings account so if you're already with bank of america if the price pull back anywhere under 37 dollars let's say it goes to 36.80 that would be a good buy and then you can also dollar cost on the rate down on bank of america but if you guys want to be patient you can wait until the macd cross i'll go i've i've made a macd video before if you missed out on that video tell you guys you need to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss out on crucial information like that so once again anything under the 37 dollar price points for bank of america was we'll, we'll see as a pretty good investment long term for bank of america so let's go ahead and pull up the last stock ups now ups they do have that earnings coming up soon it is on the 26th hopefully this video might be out before the 26th i highly doubt it so let's go ahead and try out some predictions all right so if we're scrolling back so scrolling back on ups they have beat the last one two three four five six seven of their last earnings and they have an earnings coming up on the um 26 so I, I expect them to beat their last earnings um on this earnings it significantly shot up this earnings it pulled all the way back even though they beat their earnings uh but it did pull back to somewhat of a support zone in this area right here so if you do think bank of america is still overpriced even though it is pulled back according to our screening it is oversold on the rsi um if bank of america earnings do come out and they do beat it based on historical data they might beat it but every time they beat their earnings does not mean that it pulls back in fact the last one they beat their earnings it shot up and it was so overpriced that even though they beat their earnings on this one it pulled back so they beat their earnings when it pulled back it shot back up and then they beat the earnings again it shot back up so the next earnings is coming up it could shoot up or it could pull down uh pull down so if it do pull down to this good buy zone right here of around 180 dollars 175 dollars that would be a good price to get on ups we uh if it shoots up then just be patient and wait and just um remember the goal is to buy low sell high if it shoots up don't buy at the all-time high you guys want to wait for it to pull back so that is a little quick tech the, the very quickest simplest technical analysis that we could do on these three companies and there we go dreamers that is the top three oversold dividend stocks to look at this upcoming week some of them have already had their earnings some of them got their earnings coming up so um if you use any screeners at all go down to the comment section and let me know what screeners have you been using to guide to find good companies at a great value i would love to check out what you guys have to say down in the comment section but other than that guys i'll keep you updated on every time i buy and sell stocks over inside the discord if you guys want to be a part of that that link is down in the description don't forget to pick up your free stocks with weeble that's the app that we use with the screener um, coinbase block five moo moo free money guys do not miss out on any of those opportunities but other than that i'm zeke bring you the dream green show and i'm out peace